Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft video. Uh, last time we made this, uh, this not monstrosity, but this um, empowered oil maker, I have extended it a little bit. So what I've done is um, I've extended the yellow wire around there and the yellow wire around here to um, the hopper. I've also got another canola press here waiting with another hopper. I still have to put... As you can see, we're getting way more canola than we need. So I'm not wiring this one up yet. I do have that yellow wire going in there to stop it um, if we've got, well, if we've got empowered oil in here. Um, but this is using the oil so slowly um, that I don't think I'm gonna need the second um, second press for quite some time. Um, I have got these three oil generators here. They are now set with this RF monitor. Um, RF monitor basically says if there's more than 60% in that HV capacitor, um, then set a signal and that'll stop these from running. For some reason, when I log out and log back in, um, this thing always comes back as being full. Uh, but what I'm doing then is from this one, which is just gonna be sort of a little buffer, uh, I pass it into this HV capacitor here. And then from there, the power goes out the bottom and into, well, everything really. Um, and I've replaced all of my cables with the, the better cabling. So now that we have a bunch of this cabling, I mean, this is extendable. So basically I'm picturing that I can put another HV capacitor and another HV capacitor to give me both more capacity and more bursty load. So it basically means that I can run lots of stuff for a shorter amount of time. I mean, this is generating over a thousand RF per tick anyway, but it means if I do need to use 2000 RF per tick or 3000 RF per tick just for a short amount of time, um, I can do that with these, um, scaling these batteries out. And then I don't have to have massive you know, massive power infrastructure to do that. So now that we caught up a little bit on that, um, I was gonna do some stuff with the display stands and automating the actual um, seeds, but given that I'm just not using them that much, I'm gonna leave this as being uh, manual for now. And this episode, I'm finally gonna sort out my storage. So I do wanna do refined storage, but refined is really nasty to make. Um, applied Energistics, however, is a lot easier. So um, I'm going to make a few of these things. This is going to be probably a not overly exciting episode, to be honest. It's more of a just keeping you guys up to date with what's happening in the base. Um, applied Energistics is nothing new that we all haven't done lots of times before. In fact, I've got the charger already sitting there to make some charged um, certus. Um, so what I might do is I might run away. I will make myself a where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This thing, Emmy controller. We've got a bunch of sky stone, pure flux is fine. Engineering. So we're going to need to make an inscriber. Inscriber again, pretty easy stuff. There is nothing too crazy with this. So um, we'll do that. And then Emmy drive again, steel, glass cable, quartz fiber and flux. Yeah, nothing untoward there as well. Um, I may also make myself some wherever they are, this thing, crystal growth, because those are normally really slow to grow the crystals. Uh, but the thing that has been holding us up is the quartz glass. Um, this is pretty nasty to make, um, but I think we now have everything we need to make this. We can make blaze quartz, we can make smoky quartz, um, we can make red quartz, we've got the dust, and sunny quartz in the rest. 150,000 RF though, that's pretty hefty. Um, and a couple of quartz glass come out the bottom um, from the alloy. So I might make some of that as well while we're away and I'll be back with a bunch of parts and we'll put it together. So I'll see you back here in just a bit. Alrighty, so, <clears throat> so I'm just checking back in. I'm busy making a few things. Uh, as you can see, I've made a bunch of the different processes. Uh, we do have our ME controller. Um, these are all the presses I've managed to get. Uh, made a few glass cables. I'm gonna make some more. There we go, I've got some quartz fiber. Just gonna make some more of this. Uh, one of the things I did is we've put ourselves an energy acceptor under there. I've run some ME cable through to two of the growth accelerators, uh, which means I can grow some more crystals pretty quickly. <clears throat> I'm just trying to decide where to put the controller though. So I think we're going to put the controller here in the middle. And the reason for that is I need to run ME cable this way for storage and potentially crafting stuff maybe. Uh, and I also need to run cables this way because I do want to start automating some of the stuff, um, like especially smelting and bits and pieces um, with 
the applied energistics stuff. So what I was thinking of doing is we'll run the cable like maybe like this and throw the controller in there and that way I can run this cable underneath like that along up to up to there um, what I can do later on as well with the controller is I can put another controller underneath and another one underneath and that will break us through the floor below where I also want to run some cabling. So um, I'll basically have this column of uh, ME controllers which will give me plenty of sides to run cables out of um, to do various bits and pieces um, and that'll hopefully be what we need. And once we put another controller underneath we can get rid of this cable here and just run the cable into the side. Um, and that should be enough for us. So things that I need to make still, I still need to make myself a, where is it? Uh, the drive, wherever that is, there we go, the ME drive. Yeah, engineering, some steel and some glass cable. I could make that right now. Uh, and the other thing I wanna make is 4K chips. Now the reason I make the 4K cells is these seem to be the best balance between the types. So you got 63 types um, and you know, the more storage there is, the more items you can put in naturally. Um, but I seem to have found that when you use the 16 Ks, you often end up using all the types up well before you use the storage up. Uh, and if you use the 64s, yeah, they're not really that um, efficient for storage unless you were gonna do things like um, use them for storing I don't know, like all your cobble or all your, you know, all your bulk goods, basically. But I tend to use these storage drawers or even compacting drawers are fantastic for stuff like cobblestone. Um, so I'll probably convert this wall to a bunch of compacting drawers um, just for things like, you know, ingots are really good in there because you can get the, um, get the um, nuggets and stuff. So what I might do later on, maybe between this episode and the next one, is just ripple these out and convert it to... That's probably where I'll put the drives actually. So we'll throw some drives in here and throw a bunch of compacting drawers in here um, and hook those up. And then, yeah, that's probably going to be it for this episode once we get there. Um, and then, of course, we're going to need uh, some crafting interfaces and other bits and pieces like that. So um, I am once again going to duck off. I'll make some of these 4K chips, which are, again, might need to make some more quartz glass, but that's okay. Um, and we're going to need to make a bunch of 1K drives. Pure, Certus, a Logic, and some Redstone. I have 16 Logics already. We have a bunch of Pure, Certus left over. Yeah, so everything's pretty good uh, on that front. These are... Uh, how much are they done? 63%. Yeah, so having those two accelerators are pretty good. All right, I'll be back in just a moment again, um, and we'll put some drawers and stuff in, and hopefully I'll have enough cable um, to start running that. We'll have the start of our applied energistic system. So see you back here once again in just a bit. Alrighty, back one last time. As you can see, I've done quite a bit of stuff here. We've made a bunch more compacting drawers. I've consolidated some of the stuff over into these um, that I'm not quite sure what to do with. There's sort of a few too many of them to put in the storage. Um, I've managed to make two 4K chips. Uh, as you can see, this one here, we've used all 63 slots and we're using 2.5K. So that's pretty good usage. So if we had a 16K, you know, we wouldn't be able to fit any more on there anyway. It'd still be 2.5K usage. And if it was a 1K chip, um, obviously we'd need like three of them to do the same thing and we wouldn't have used all the types. So this is the reason why I choose 4K chips pretty much for everything. I mean, when I first started with AE, I used to format them and try and do all that sort of craziness. Um, but now I found it basically works out cheaper and easier on time, certainly, um, to just make tons of 4Ks. Uh, even this one here is you know, nearly 2K, 37 types. Yeah, cool. So um, I'll get some more 4Ks happening at some point between uh, probably between now and the next episode, I need to transfer metal to here. Um, the last thing I was going to do, though, is I do have a drawer controller. Um, so what I was going to do is probably put in here. Um, there we go, drawer controller. Cool. Um, the other thing as well you might notice is I do actually have a hammer a pick and a cleaver now. I did make a bunch of tools um, from Tinkers. I'm trying to phase out of the use of the Ember stuff. Um, I'm leveling these up slowly. Um, as you can see, Reinforce 3, Reinforce 2, 
Uh, that one's got luck one. I need to put some more. Actually, I need to put some more luck on that as well. Um, but anyway, that's that's why we're starting to change tools. Now down in front of here. What I want to do is I want to grab an interface and I'm pretty sure this is what we're going to need to do. We're going to need to put an interface there and put that on there. And now do we see them? Uh, what are we going to be looking for? Uh, we're going to be looking for, say, appetite. No, it doesn't work. So what do we need to do to get this going? So this is blocking all well, the contents. No, that's just priority. Hmm. Has it been that long since I have used applied in logistics that I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm not sure what else we need to do to get that to work. Because we kind of need the bus, credit card, fuzzy card, crafting card, capacity card, no, 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 so it's not an export or an import, not a toggle. It might be the storage bus actually, which is the interface with two of those. Yeah, wow, it's been so long since I have done this. Uh, did we keep that? Yes, we did. So now we want, uh, where are we? Storage bus. Huh. So we are gonna need that one back. And we're going to need a piston with a sticky. I think I have, yep. One of those there. Yeah, duh, of course it's a storage bus. Here we go. That there, that there. We are on. And. Yeah, there we go, appetite. Yep. <laughs> All right. And also we should be able to see stuff in here now like stone. Cool. Which I can use to fill that back in. Awesome. And now I can do that. I can do all sorts of cool stuff like grab the gold out and put the nuggets in there as well. Awesome, and we can do that with a few of our other metals as well, which would be really good. And now they have here in here properly. Awesome. So um, that is where I'm probably going to leave this episode. Uh, we've got a good setup here now for some storage. I will fill these out with more of the metals and things that we have um, for nuggets. So yeah, copper's probably a good one. Iron's a good one. Uh, maybe even pulsating. Yeah, you don't have a lot of pulsating iron though, but um, certainly lead, iron, and copper will be good ones to put in there. Uh, the other thing I will do between this time and next time is we'll sort some stuff out from here. So I'm going to run some more of the ME cable down here and start to maybe get some automation happening on this, um, especially for things like crafting test tubes. So I always run out of those. Uh, what I'll also do is probably the floor below. Actually, the floor below is probably a really good place to put it. I'll start making some of the applied energistics uh, what are they called? The crafting, the crafting stuff. So I'll start getting some co-processing units, um, getting some crafting storage happening and putting it in with the molecular assemblers uh, down underneath and start adding some patterns to that for things like well, you know, all the basic stuff, chests and pistons and all that sort of thing. Um, yeah, in this room might be a good, might be a good plan to put some stuff over there. So somewhere around, here, <laughs> here, I don't know, wherever it is, above me here somewhere, um, there is the, the ME controller that I can extend down into here and run some more cables. Because this is applied energistics, we do have a maximum channels as well, so I might run some um, P2P 
uh, tunnels and bits and pieces. Um, I, I'm not really keen on doing lots of videos on applied energistics just because I've done it lots of times before. Um, and if you need to see how that works, just, you know, go back through any of my old videos really to, to see those. Um, what else? The other thing that's been happening, I went and looked at some of the some of the other guys' bases. There we go, Spirit Crackers Online. I went and had a look at his base and those guys have gone crazy. They are pretty much at the end game now, very, very close. Um, they've even started getting the materials for an ATM star. So I'm I've been given sort of a bit of a bit of inspiration and a bit of motivation from going and seeing their base. There's a lot of cool things and so many things left in this pack. Uh, I'm sort of realizing that I'm going a bit slow here. So in between episodes, you may find I've done more things um, than I've filmed. So at the start of each episode, I may have to start just sort of recapping some of the extra bits I've done in between episodes because otherwise I'm not going to fit anything out, everything in. And, and also, I do feel like I am going over stuff that I've been over you know, been over a few times before, like the Applied Energistics stuff. Um, so yeah, so that is it anyway. Um, so I'll end this here, uh, as always. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.